big golf tournament. Ali Wagner at the course telling us about those details. Uh, Take it away. Oh, and you have a very special guest. Our friend. Hey, Allie. I do, but gosh, the way you guys were talking, it's like we almost just need to have the static shot on the beauty and take the moment to take a deep breath and remind ourselves that we live in beautiful San Diego. So, hey, things could be worse. And I have Alyssa who is here with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. It's hard to come to this place and not get excited. <laughs> so today is a big day because Farmers Insurance open tickets go on sale. So tell me for you, I mean, like you say, you get excited the second you come to Torrey Pines. Yeah, so our tickets go on sale today, FarmersInsuranceOpen.com. We have our upgraded venues available. The Michelob Ultra Zone was a big hit last year for the first time. Same thing with Canyon Club. Uh, Canyon Club, I believe, sold out last year, so you want to make sure you get those tickets early, especially before prices increase as well. And for you, I mean, this is, we were just talking about, the course itself is something that is so special that is really cool because if you're a local San Diegan, you can come and play Torrey Pines and then the pros get to come and play. Yeah, we really are so spoiled to have a golf course like this. Uh, two U.S. Open championships have been played here, home to the Farmers Insurance Open, which is the premier sport and lifestyle event of the year. We're so blessed to have this spectacular course right in our backyard. And again, as San Diego residents, we get to play it pretty much whenever we want. So we're spoiled for sure. Yeah, because you go, oh, I'm going to play it in December. Like yeah. we've got people coming in from out of town and yeah, can't wait. Yeah. And I like as well, the tournament now is Wednesday through Saturday. So that's something for people to pay attention to as well. It's going to be the second year that it's like that. Yeah, absolutely. So you want to make sure you mark your calendars, January 25th to the 28th, Wednesday with a Saturday finish. Worked out really well last year uh, with that Saturday finish. Um, and we would just love everybody to come out midweek, right? You can get some work done from the course, maybe, you know, work remotely. I think people are still doing that. Um, enjoy the golf, the beautiful sunshine. Come out and be social with your friends or, you know, just take in the golf. It's going to be a great time as always. And I think that now is a good time to, like you said, get excited about it. Put it on your calendar. Yeah. Get tickets and just kind of be like, okay, I'm prepared for January. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have our golf fans out here as always. There's going to be some of the top players in the world out here competing. Tory Pines always provides such a challenge for the guys primarily the south course that's where the finishing hole the finishing days will be on friday and saturday and then you can also enjoy all the other activations we have we always have some great bars um, different pop-up events and activations around the course for those of you that might not be as into golf and can just be social and have a great time Love that. Hey, guys, I'm not going to lie. I did some Christmas shopping while I was here as well. Family from um, <laughs> from the Midwest always loves some good Torrey Pines gear, but absolutely gorgeous here at the course and something to put on your calendar. So we'll send things back over to you. Hey, Allie, could you ask one question for me? We, we, we met Alyssa. When, yes. when did we do that? Uh, that we, was three years ago? We maybe? first met her three years ago. Four, started following four, her three or four story. years ago that we met you, right? On yes. social yes. media, yes. we started, our, started following her on Instagram. <laughs> yes. And I've watched her golf swing evolve, and she's hitting the ball really well. Oh. I, I was curious, how, mm -hmm. uh, what she, what's her handicap now? Yeah. Ooh, they want to know what your handicap is now because Paul said that he's watched your golf swing evolve and change because you've gone on this golf journey essentially yeah. on Instagram and learned the game and continued to take lessons. <laughs> so what's your handicap now? Okay, right now it's around 11. Okay. Yeah, so it's so Correct tough now. to maintain. Like, you can get it to certain levels, and I got it below. I got it to a 9, but right now I'm at an 11. But thanks for following. It's been a journey. I'll keep it interesting. Yeah, New Lady Golfer if you don't follow. Yeah, News Lady Golfer. Yes. Uh, and congratulations on that. It's an inspiration, yeah. I, I, you know, I, mm -hmm. anybody who's ever because, tried to do that knows because how, how it is. long how long has she been golfing, Allie? It hasn't been that long. I mean, I think when we talked to her, no. she wasn't golfing You've at all. You've been golfing really. for how, how long? Gosh, it's been a little over four years now. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, four years. So, so. Jeez, and it's a yes. pretty athletic swing. Yeah. Congratulations to her. Way to go. Boy, you see my swing. It looks like a butcher in a phone booth. Well, it's that's like, a whole other yeah, can like of worms. You and Charles Barkley go hang out? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Chopping meat. <laughs> That'd be a funny All right. Yeah. <laughs> Take care, Allie. Alyssa's like, We'd I can We'd like to give him you. lessons. <laughs> no, you have, you have to have like a, I'm too. Um, Fluid. Yeah, you have to have gumbiness.